So in the next example, now we have an equation that's not in slope-intercept form. So the first thing we have to do is isolate the y, put it in slope-intercept form. So I add 5x to both sides. 2y is less than 5x minus 2. Does everybody follow me? Yes. OK. Now I need to divide by 2. So I divide by 2. Remember that 2 has to divide into both of those, so I'm left with y is less than 5 has x minus 1. Does everybody follow? Yes, no, maybe so. OK. So now we identify the slope and the y-intercept. Slope is 5 halves. Y-intercept is 0, comma, negative 1. So I go to 0, comma, negative 1. Then I follow the slope from my y-intercept to my next point. So I go up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 to the right 2. Now, the difference with this one is this is a less than, um, not less than or equal to. So now it's going to be a dashed line. And what the dashed line means is any point that's on the line is not a part of the solution. Now, you can also say it's less than or equal to. Um, it's less than or equal to, so that means we should shade below the line, right? Well, let's just make sure. So let's pick a test point. You guys can see that 0, 0 is not on the line, so we can use it. So if I plug in 0 in for y and 0 in for x, I get 0 is, um, oops, it's going to be to the left, not below. 0 is less than or equal to, oh no, yeah, it's below. 0 is less than or equal to negative 1. Is 0 less than negative 1? No, it's not, right? So that is false. So when it was true, you shaded all the points that were towards the true point. When it's false, you shade all the points on the opposite side. And remember, the less than or equal to is the values that are below. OK? Ladies and gentlemen, you will have a focus um, quiz on this type of information. Um, but also remember, um,